The frogs responsible for the most fragile breeding season are definitely the wood frog. The reason being, with them being explosive breeders, they only have a certain amount of time to come out and successfully find a partner in order to engage in amplexus as you can see here and eventually mate. It cannot be overstated the importance of these male wood frogs calling. If they were not calling in these larger choruses, it's safe to say that these female wood frogs would never find them, and if that would be the case, we would start to see the population dwindle. If this vernal pool and breeding population follows the average on a 7 to 1 male to female ratio, then think about it like this. It might be true that a lot of these males are going to come away empty handed, however with that many more males it's going to create a larger chorus and it's going to give them the opportunity that they need for some of them to breed. It's going to create a lot of possibility and it's something very beneficial. So even though some of these guys aren't going to succeed, they're going to succeed as a group as a whole and that is for the greater good. We have highlighted these wood frogs for the past four years because this population specifically is exposed to deforestation. These frogs face a great challenge ahead of them. The land that they call home is being destroyed, the vernal pools are being filled in with soil, and the habitat is continuing to dwindle. And without the habitat and the breeding grounds, this population will surely die. At the moment, they seem to be stable and growing slightly. Even though they're doing well now, that doesn't mean they're going to succeed five years from now. So it's going to take a tremendous amount of effort to stay locked in and focused on the conservation for this population of wood frogs. They deserve life too. They deserve their story to be told. And as long as we have the ability and the right to be on the land, we're going to tell their story. And this one is specifically from the male wood frog point of view. Wood frogs are the most unique member of the pond frog family because this is the only time that you'll see them gathered together in large choruses inside ponds or vernal pools. These frogs are more like American toads living terrestrial lifestyles rather than aquatic or semi-aquatic. You can see how this male wood frog is kicking the female and male couple. He wants nothing to do with them. He's trying to call his own female and entice her. So she's basically dead to him. He has no care in the world for her. She has a male on her back and he's looking to get a female on him. Another thing that makes wood frogs stand out from the other pond frogs is the fact that their egg clutches are so much bigger. They spend so much effort on creating these massive egg clutches. It's truly amazing. Look at what we have here guys, we have a female wood frog. When we arrived at location 4 in Westmoreland County, we were very surprised to find a much quieter vernal pool. That is because these female wood frogs that arrived yesterday mated yesterday and left, which means there are many male wood frogs without a partner. We were able to successfully film the peak up here in episode 2, so if you have the chance, go back and look up the female wood frogs of the mountain. It was an amazing episode. 
But for this one, all of these male bachelor wood frogs are now tasked with competing and giving relentless effort to be one of the last wood frogs to breed in this vernal pool for this year. It's do or die, now or never. For the males lucky enough to secure a female, they have to work together and kick back the other males that are relentlessly trying to either push the male wood frog off that's on top of her back, or to push off the other male wood frogs so they can't secure position on his mate. So that way, it's a much smoother process. And as you can see, the females are coming to these large piles of egg clutches to give their offspring a better chance. With more eggs around, it gives them the opportunity to survive attacks by raccoons, by newts, bears, and others. This is truly one of the last chances that these wood frogs have. Two days removed from the peak, and now there's even fewer female wood frogs to go around. This female has to carry this male until they breed, unless he gets thrown off and the process begins all over again and she has to get another male. As, as I look at these frogs, it makes me sad because there's a lot of frogs in here that did not mate. There's a question of whether they will or won't, in the coming days, maybe a handful will, but there's a high failure rate for these frogs, so that's why it's such a scramble and such a battle for them during breeding season. Like you hear the spring peepers, that's war. I mean, it's a scramble, it's a sprint to try and breed. So let's go to the second vernal pool and check it out. There's probably hundreds of wood frogs here that have not mated. This male wood frog that has her at the front that's not, he's not gonna fertilize any eggs that way. You can see the poor female, you know, she's cornered. Um, it's a cold night here. So, you know, she's hunkered down. It's just incredible to see this, that there's still breeding activity happening in this vernal pool. It's quiet, which means um, the peak must have been last night. We must have got to the point where the most females mated. We're gonna see the egg clutches in a moment. But look at this. Just, I keep coming back to how incredible this is to catch this battle that must have ensued. But you can see, you know, even though he's got her by the front, he's not gonna be able to fertilize the eggs. The frog on the bottom to the left of her, you know, to the lower half of her, he's the one that's gonna fertilize the eggs. You know, there's a handful left, but there's not as many, clearly not as many as the last couple days. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. But next time on Frog Week, we're going to show you the conclusion of the breeding season at my house. The wood frogs actually showed up. I can't wait to show you that. And we're also going to take you on a deeper dive into our road rescue operations. I can't wait for you guys to see that episode. And as always, like and subscribe and please share this with your friends for more Frog Week content. We'll see you in the next one.